Welcome back to Shop Dog Garage. Everything's growing like crazy. It's been the wettest year I remember. Even it's getting harder to see where the tree used to be. So today I have a couple tasks I'd like to accomplish. Oh, God, look at those. those peppers are doing so good. The two things I want to try to get done today, and I'm only, I've only got about four hours scheduled for today. We're going to get this valence off. We're going to get all that out, and we're going to finally take care of that weld. And I'm going to crawl around up there and find hardware. And we're going to drop those guys in and see just how bad that is going to be. Ah, not looking forward to it. I did consult with Harlan, and he said as long as water can't get to the back of these, which it can't, um, yeah, we'll we'll be smoothing that in with that all metal, and then, you know, but after the primer. So, ah, so I haven't scuffed all the primer yet. That's that's coming soon. That's coming way soon. But we're we're definitely getting there. This is starting to look like something. Yeah, I'm also going to have to come up with some shims that are the same thickness here. Because when I put it together for block work and, and filler, obviously I don't want that there. Other than that, we're, we're actually getting pretty close. So let me go ahead and get some of this part. And we'll be right back. Alright, took a few minutes, put some tools away. Kind of got set up over here. But you can see this is that area we wanted to kind of finish in. The last time this went together, we weren't sure if this was the final shape or not. It is. We like it. So I'll clean all this up. We'll fill that in nicely. We'll get that filled in nice. Grind it all pretty. Uh, and it feels like I got, yeah, I got a spot right there I'm going to fill in as well. So I think I'm going to raise the car just a little bit. That's one thing that's nice with a lift. You don't have to work on your back. So let me get moving. All right, we've started our stitching. Just did a couple spots down in here and was actually hammering this a little nicer. I'm going to grind that very sharp looking thing there in a little bit. You can see this whole thing needs relieved. And I've got some fill work to do here and here and a little bit right there we'll keep doing it but this is an area I don't want to warp so it's literally one tack go somewhere else one tack wait so this will take a few minutes all right I got one more spot right here that I want to fill hopefully that shows up because I want that leading edge to be solid I've filled those rosettes in better than they need to be remember none of that's visible when it's done, plus it will get some filler. You can see the same over here. This is already pretty good. In fact, when I'm looking at it, I've got one spot here I want to fill. I'm getting picky now, but yeah, I'm not doing this again. So yeah, I'm going to fill that spot, get this cleaned up, and then I'm going to go fill the other one. All right, I think I'm chasing myself now, and I've got to stop. <laughs> so you can see that's a lot sturdier. That void is gone now. Um, and then I started, and I started filling in here and grinding here, and I'm like, whoa, 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 time to, time to back off. So, one of the things that I was just explaining to myself in my own mind is when it's time to prime this. One, I'm gonna have to tape all that off because, unfortunately, for block work, I really got to keep the lights in because of these locating points. I'm bolting those. This could move ever so slightly. Um, the other thing, I'm probably going to have to pull the frame horns off. It's going to make doing the block work on the valence a lot easier. Uh, trying to work around that, I think, will be difficult. It's just four bolts. It's just, oh, God, I spent so much time aligning them. But at least now I know they can be. So there is that. Uh, yeah, I think I already mentioned that I'm going to have to find shims the exact same thickness as these so that those can be pulled yeah there's a fair bit to do yet i know i keep playing with this and i've already monkeyed with it three times i gotta quit i i gotta move on from that okay went ahead and 
yank those frame horns and I'm getting ready to put the valence back on remember there's some shims so I've got those located as well let's get the valence back on make sure all this still looks good and we will continue all right so I've got my little spacer shims in there got those brackets out got the frame horn brackets out you know the ones for the bumper and we got the valence back on everything's looking pretty decent the gapping isn't bad here it gets a hair whitish here or at least it looks like it well yeah I may be able to do a little more there that might just be chasing more ghosts I might cause myself more trouble than it's worth this is getting pretty good so that actually took quite a bit longer than I expected it to so I'm going to climb up and start looking for hardware well I have looked and looked and looked and the box with the hardware for this is just nowhere to be found so we're gonna gonna have Mark save us again out at Southern Camaro so I've been going through boxes and going through boxes and I'm tired of it and we're gonna order them besides I probably needed a new one anyway remember the head of this screw is visible inside the car so probably needed a new one anyway I just I can't find them I have been through bags and bags and bags of stuff so it is what it is now with that I'm gonna put a bunch of stuff back away not gonna be testing vent windows today we're probably about as far as we're gonna get so three and a half hours instead of four that's that's pretty good anyway only a couple things left Harlan pointed out that I don't have a good transition here so I gotta take care of that he pointed out I don't know if it'll show up but there is a spot on the deck lid that isn't rounded which is weird because we bought it that way but I guess that's not weird <laughs> um, a lot of scuffing to do I'll get some pads for that I think but we're really close I'm pretty happy here I've got a little bit of cleanup I want to do right here that won't be on camera I've got a point down here I'm still kind of working out you know it feels a little funky right here so I got to deal with that pretty happy here um, got real happy with the eyebrows now you know which is great so I had to rebuild all of that all of that all of this and all of this oh and on both sides also had to re you know pull out and reshape these and on the other side really had a lot of reconstruction here on that brand new fender that I bought from my good friends at Goodmark. So, what do you do? It's not that good. Anyway, is what it is. Thanks for watching. Please like, comment, and subscribe. We'll see you later.